Module 7 Cleaning and Disinfecting Steps to take to maintain a pristine environment Cleaning Cleaning is a process that removes visual dirt and contamination and in most cases is effective for decontaminating both equipment and the environment. Cleaning uses general soap and water or other detergent. Cleaning does not disinfect or sanitise surfaces. To minimise the risk of COVID-19 spreading, we must clean and disinfect all highly touched surfaces. Disinfection. It's not the same as cleaning or sanitising. Disinfection is a process that reduces the number of microorganisms to a level at which they do not present a risk to people. Surfaces must be thoroughly cleaned first for this process to be effective. A disinfectant agent must be used. Detergent and sanitizer is not a disinfectant. You can use a general cleaner with disinfectant to undertake cleaning in your venue. This does make it quicker. You should also have available disinfectant wipes. Blend 20 or a similar aerosol can also be used for non-food services and fabric seating. Remember, cleaning and disinfection of all high contact surfaces is mandatory. Routine environmental cleaning. The length of time that SARS-CoV-2 caused COVID-19 this virus on internet services will vary from factors such as the e.g. respiratory droplets or soil present, environmental temperature and humidity. Coronaviruses can survive on surfaces for many hours but are readily inactivated by cleaning and disinfection. As such, it would be your job to ensure a suitable cleaning and disinfecting schedule is implemented, which will be undertaken by yourself or designated staff throughout the day. All high touch surfaces must be cleaned and disinfected at a minimum hourly with this recording. Cleaning and disinfection should be undertaken on a continual basis in each area. Here is some basic information on handling of service items that are clean. Glassware. When filling or handling the glass, don't touch the roof. Use gloves for sanitised hands. If using gloves, change these after handling clean glasses. Cutlery. Wear gloves when handling cutlery. Wrap in napkins or place in packaging for individual use. Provide these when delivering food items or at point of sale area. Plates and crockery. Ensure hands are cleaned and sanitised beforehand. Use gloves when delivering food items. Use gloves when making coffee and change these after each task. Ready to eat food items. Gloves to be used when handling or preparing ready to eat items such as fruit for drinks, cakes, biscuits, wraps, and sandwiches. Handling of service items that are dirty. Glassware. Dirty glassware to be handled with gloved hands. All glassware to be scrubbed using a glass scrubber with clean solution and then should be placed directly into a glass washer. Cutlery. All dirty cutlery to be handled with gloved hands and be placed in a bucket or container with a bleach or sanitizer solution for 10 minutes before being placed through a commercial dishwasher. Plates and crockery. All dirty crockery to be handled with gloved hands all crockery to be thoroughly rinsed and be placed through a commercial dishwasher to be air-dried before being put back into service. Tongs and other servery items. Servery items to be handled with gloves and to be used for a single purpose only. These should not be shared between staff and they should be washed every two hours at a minimum. assist you with cleaning and disinfecting, a trolley or buckets should be set up. 
trolley or buckets must be fully stocked at all times. Personal PPE must not be stored within the trolley or buckets. Disposable gloves should be made available in the trolley or in the bucket. Do not leave dirty cleaning cloths or paper towel lying around. Ensure that these are discarded after each use. A COVID Marshal's Responsibilities As the COVID Marshal, in New South Wales this is the Safe Hygiene Marshal, you will have certain responsibilities that you must discharge. You should be readily identifiable as the COVID Marshal by the wearing of a vest with the wording COVID Marshal or similar. You have a big task ahead of you, so you should be confident enough to undertake the duties imposed upon you. Management will provide you with the support and the authority you need to discharge your duties. When must a marshal be appointed? In Queensland, this is currently a voluntary appointment and is used by businesses that have large spaces or can get high density of numbers coming in at the same time. In New South Wales, all pubs, clubs, cafes, restaurants, etc., must appoint a dedicated safe hygiene marshal to oversee social distancing, cleaning and hygiene at the venue. This is a mandatory requirement and must be in place in New South Wales as at the 25th of July 2020. As a COVID safe marshal, your duties will be varied. Here are some of the crowd control duties that you may have to perform must facilitate occupancy limits at the venue, such as ensuring that max booking numbers are adhered to, max room occupancy limits are not exceeded, max occupancy limits are not exceeded at venue level, social distancing is enforced between guests, ensure the accuracy and legibility of sign and records, ensure all areas are set up to facilitate social distancing requirements, and ensure that any signage and or demarcation of social distancing remains visible and in good condition throughout the venue. What cleaning and hygiene tasks should I undertake as a COVID marshal? If you're in charge of cleaning, ensure that all eye contact services are cleaned and disinfected at least hourly. Ensure that any setup cleaning schedule is completed as required. Ensure that any cleaning and disinfecting supplies are made available and are kept full throughout the day so that cleaning tasks can be undertaken effectively. Ensure that hygiene stations are checked and are refreshed as required. And ensure adequate signage and other information is readily available in common areas throughout the venue.